Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so the other week I created butterfly boxes and you guys requested that I make a similar box but with a heart instead. So that's what I'm here with today. But I've also got a second box template um, with a little heart topper as well. So when you do download these files, which you'll get from my blog at svgnation.com, and the link is in the description that's gonna take you directly there, um, you are gonna get both of these files. And both of these are really quick and easy to put together, and they each only need one sheet of cardstock to make. Um, the new design doesn't even need any glue. You're just going to fold this and go. So they're both quick and fun boxes. They're great for party favors, putting small gifts or treats in. Um, they have so many uses. Um, but before we get started, um, I do want to show you what you need to do in Cricut Design Space to get, to get these boxes ready to go. Okay, so once you go ahead and upload them, go ahead and add it to your canvas. And as far as the size, you can go a little bit bigger with this. Um, keep in mind, you know, most cardstock is 12 by 12, so you can just drag if you want to go a little bit bigger, or you can go smaller. You can't go too much bigger. You do need to keep it under 12 by 12. I think the cutting size is around 11 and a half. There's a specific dimension, but I don't have that on me right now. So just resize it and just make sure it stays on one piece of cardstock. And then right here, these are your score lines right here. And so you're just gonna go into your basic operation and change those to your score lines. And if you don't have a scoring tool, then go ahead and delete these layers um, because you don't want them to cut there. And you can just fold it by hand. Um, but make sure that you do attach these score lines to your box. Um, go ahead and select all of your layers. And you can select multiple layers together by holding down shift while you select them. And then go ahead and attach them. Um, that way your Cricut knows exactly where to score and cut. And so this is all you need to do, and this box is ready to go. Um, but I'm going to hide this one because I want to go ahead and show you how to get the other box ready to go as well. You're just going to follow the exact same steps, only this one for some reason comes up as a square, but you're just going to change the square to your score lines. And that gives you your score lines right there for your Cricut to score on. Or you can delete that layer if you don't have a scoring tool. And all you need to do is just make sure you attach that. Um, so we can go ahead and make this. Um, when you do use like a scoring tool, um, always make sure it looks correct on your cutting mat preview. Um, because if it doesn't and your score lines are on a different mat, that means that you did not attach them. So you need to go back and make sure they're attached. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut these boxes. Um, so let's go ahead and continue. Before you start cutting, uh, make sure that you add your scoring tool if you are using this with your Cricut. And I'm using glitter cardstock for some of the boxes, which looks really pretty for these designs. Um, but whenever you score with glitter cardstock, you want to put the glitter face down on the mat. Um, otherwise, your scoring tool is going to scrape the glitter off of it. And when you do this, the glitter, it really doesn't stick that well to your mat. So I recommend that you tape it down to keep it from sliding and messing up. And I use a scotch tape to do this, and I don't recommend using anything that's any stickier than that. You really don't need a sticky tape for that. I made different size boxes so that you can kind of get an idea for the different sizes you can make with this. And this purple and this blue glitter paper are both like the largest size that I can make these boxes on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, just so you can kind of get an idea of how large these boxes can be. And then the white glitter is the largest that I could cut this box on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet. Um, so you can use your favorite letter size paper as well, um, which is exciting because I love this white glitter. So I had to make one with that size. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a box that doesn't need any glue. So to assemble this one, all you need to do is fold on your score lines and make sure that you fold them really well. And then you just attach the box together. Um, to do this, you're going to push the two heart pieces in together and then bring them down a little. But when you push them down, make sure that the sides puff outwards instead of folding inside. And then you're just going to secure it by placing the slits over the hearts. So this is a really easy box that you can throw together last minute if you need to. Um, but it's super cute, so I don't think that anybody will really even know how easy it was. And for the other heart box, you're going to need to glue the box together. Um, so start by folding on all the score lines. And again, make sure that you get really good folds. 
and then you're just going to glue each of the tabs to the inside of the box. And I like using hot glue when making boxes um, because it holds well, but it also dries quick so you don't have to sit there and hold the pieces together for forever while it dries. Um, but any good craft glue will work. And then once your box is glued together, um, it's ready to go. Um, to close it, all you need to do is fold those two tab pieces in and then you'll slide the heart halves into each other so that it makes a full heart. And then I like to fold up on the heart sides just to add a little bit of dimension to it. Um, so that's all there is to it. And I really hope that you guys enjoy, enjoy these boxes. And if you do, make sure to give this video a like. And I do have some really fun Halloween boxes coming up soon. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss those. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.